Well, here I am. I do. I have an appointment. Time to get the pearly whites cleaned. I really don't enjoy the dentist. It's just one of those things. I think I missed my last two appointments. Teeth are feeling pretty fantastic. Got uh, bought a crack house. Oh, that's nice. And uh, yeah, so we've uh, <laughs> named that's it. That's interesting, the, right? Yeah, we've named it the Crack Shack. I've been <laughs> kicking people out, truck heads and oh my god, druggies you're like and, finding stuff all over the place. Uh, stashed. Oh, <laughs> uh, there was like a hundred needles in there. Oh, it was geez. crazy. Just all right. I survived another trip to the dentist. This is where they blast my ass with radiation. I can't wait. That done? That done all the way? Oh, so I just drooled on this thing. I wonder how many other people have drooled on it. <laughs> Apparently I'm waiting for an exam, but the dentist is on lunch. I've got time for that. I gotta go. She's coming. Good, how's it going? This factory, I'd say. Again on the floss and why? Lazy. I think. Yeah. Apparently, I have to have a filling refilled. Not today, Satan! So, I just looked at this property yesterday. Just under 1,900 square feet, four bedrooms, two baths, and they're asking 419000 Filled out my checklist as I walked through the property and came up with a total repair estimate of $36,000. Which brings me to a very interesting point. So there's something flippers and wholesalers use called the $20 per square foot rule. It's not really a rule, but more so a guideline. And it basically states that a typical cosmetic renovation without any major repairs will run you about $20 per square foot. This property is just that, a cosmetic renovation without any major repairs. So we take the $20 and multiply it by the amount of square feet. which gives us an estimated repair amount of $37,160. So comparing that with the number I came up with using the checklist, we can see there's only about a $1,000 difference. So it's nearly impossible to estimate the renovation cost down to the dollar, but what you want to do is get a really good idea of what's the ballpark range. In the real world, there's things that will pop up, unforeseen things that will need repairs or replacements once you start the renovation. So it's important to budget for that too. So we go ahead and add our in case shit happens buffer of $5,000, bringing our total rehab estimate to $42,000. Keep in mind the $20 per square foot rule is not a rule, it's just a guideline. Just another gauge, another way to estimate your repairs. But it definitely shouldn't be the only way you estimate repairs. Just use as a guideline to make sure your other numbers aren't way off. Or maybe if they are, why? Now this brings me to another interesting point, and that's this. The seller's asking price is just that. It's what they're asking for. It doesn't mean that's what it's worth. And guess what? The seller's asking price has nothing to do with what I'm able to pay for the property. I repeat, the seller's asking price has nothing to do with what I'm able to pay.